What's going on guys, and welcome to Battlefield 1. As most of you guys know, I'm over at Gamescom at the moment, and I got the chance to jump in the other day to check out the new Sinai Desert map. I'm probably saying that all wrong. Most of the other people in this game were YouTubers, so you might see some familiar names in the kill feed. Also, a really quick apology if my voice sounds bad. I streamed for almost five hours straight yesterday, and that, coupled with shouting over the noise of a massive convention, kind of killed my voice. But uh, this map was really, really awesome. With the, all the dynamic weather you'll see during this gameplay, like sandstorms coming in, the massive desert sun, just the frostbite engine always looking as beautiful as the frostbite engine does. And this map also was the first time we got the chance to try out not only horses, but these three new power classes. So there was machine gun dude, flamethrower guy, and sniper girl. And every single time I picked one of these up, I got hit by the worst luck ever, or maybe I'm just bad. Now, I only got to try each of them once, because they're, they only spawn once every five minutes on the map, but every single time I picked one up, when I got Sniper Girl, I immediately got headshot from halfway across the map. When I got Flamethrower Guy, I got to kill one person, and then got Bayonet charged from behind, and then I finally got Machine Gun Dude, which has massive damage resistance, only to get blown up by a grenade because he has bullet resistance, not explosive resistance. I don't know if I'm bad, or if I was just really unlucky, but that was really frustrating for me. But the one thing I did actually do kind of well with was the horses. Now, I know what you're all thinking, Muzalk, did you strap C4 to a horse and charge it into the enemy like some kind of messed up animal kamikaze? But, sadly, no. The dynamite in this game doesn't stick to animals, and believe me, I tried. And you know, all I'm going to say about that is, hopefully, hopefully, there's still time to make this important change before they release the game. The horses themselves were actually really cool, though. You can see from this video that the animations are just so so smooth and lifelike. Horses were a pretty good way to move around the map, but you could also use them as a weapon, and they were really, really powerful. If you managed to get behind a group of enemies with a sword and a horse, you could absolutely decimate the entire team before they even knew what happened. Now, the map Sinai Desert itself was absolutely awesome. In terms of looks, as usual, the Frostbite engine just totally blew me away, especially once weather effects like the sandstorm started to come in. I mean, immersive is kind of an understatement. The map also had this giant death train running through the middle of it, which was mounted with cannons and anti-tank guns and machine guns, and I gotta say, the one criticism I probably had was that it is a little bit overpowered, because this train was given to the losing team once they fell far enough behind the winners. And although that sounds like it would lead to some really good comebacks, during the event, our team's strategy was to deliberately try and lose for the first few minutes, unlock the train, then just make a massive comeback. Beyond that though, Battlefield 1 is definitely one of the games I'm most hyped for this year. The graphics and sound design are stunning, the gameplay is awesome, and I mean, it's World War 1. All I gotta do is fix my dynamite horse and then it'll be perfect. <laughs> 